Now, to more breaking news, a nine-year-old South Suburban boy, another victim of senseless gunfire. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey sat down with the boy's family. She joins us live now from Madison. Megan, they told you this all stemmed from a fight between two groups of teenagers. Right, Jim and Marie, the family tells me it was a fight between a group of 16-year-olds that turned into shots fired. Little Omari Jones Brown was just standing in the doorway trying to see what was going on when he was shot and killed. He died right there. And it was outside. It was right here on the porch. Nine-year-old Omari Jones Brown's grandmother tells me she watched the whole thing unfold last night around 6 p.m. in front of her house. She says her granddaughter was involved in a fight involving a group of girls and one young man. Then they, they stopped fighting. They began to walk back to the car. We walked back to the porch as we was going to get ready to come in the house. And the young man with them just opened fire. Omari was standing in the doorway. Well, I didn't even realize he was hit when he was screaming as well because... When he gets scared, he screamed like that. She called 911, but it was too late for the third grader. In the emergency room, he passed away to the injuries suffered from a single gunshot wound to his abdomen. Madison police tell us a 20-year-old victim arrived at St. James Hospital with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound at the same time. They wouldn't say exactly how that person was connected or whether anyone was in custody. Please turn yourself in. This is... I mean, this is hurting. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you all please turn yourself in? The family is still in disbelief that their honor roll student who loved to dance won't be coming home tonight. His grandma tells me he lived with her here in Madison because he thought it was safer. His mom moved out and he stayed here because he didn't want to go to Chicago because he was afraid of getting shot. And Madison PD is asking anyone with information to contact their criminal investigations division. Live in Madison, Megan Hickey, CBS to investigators. Thank you, Megan.